We're gonna get started. Okay, we're still adding five billion different rubber bands. This is how I'm going to do my tie-dye. My assistant wasn't doing it right. This is how you really do it. <laughs> Start on our first one. Woohoo! This is gonna be a little bit fantastic. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna put these gloves on just because I don't want my skin turning white. Just kidding. We're gonna get started. Your girl does not know completely how to do this. I feel like I could try it. Got my pants here, super cute, and I have to tape it. Wish me luck, guys. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. Ah, oh, this is stressful. Um, decided to follow what Sarah Beth said for her, her fantastic tips of not using painter's tape because we all know that that tape does not stick to anything. Hey, okay, on to the other side. This should be easier. Gotta make sure they're all intact. Okay, now it's time to plastic bag this thing. I'm seriously stressing. What am I even doing? I think that's good. Oh, oh I did that so wrong. Whatever, I'm gonna flip it and now do this side. I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. So to all you professional DIYers out there, please don't hate on me. Please. Okay, now for my favorite part. Now time to bleach. Now also time to put on these gloves because we don't want bleached skin. That does not sound fantastic. Okay, let's get on. Ah! Just gonna drip it onto it, I guess. Okay, sponge it. All over the place, I guess. Mmm, smells like a swimming pool, kind of. This is not working. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we got on top of it. Don't go in there. No, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we're okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my hand. to the other side. Voila. Oh, now I got inside it again. At least these are my old clothes, so if it doesn't work, we can just throw it away. Like squeeze it together. I'm using the pants as its own sponge. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, one pair is done. Now we are going to stick this onto the pavement and we're gonna just watch it slowly get better. All right, you guys, we are almost done with the tape. just double taped and triple taped the crap out of this side of the pants. We don't want to fail on this one. We are ready again. We got our bleach, our best friend, and some glove-a's. Ready, set, boom shaka laka, boom shaka haka. Seep into the pants, seep into the pants. All good. We're just playing with bleach, that's all. I think it's working. Just 
crumple all of them together. Maybe that'll work. I don't like to do this. Okay. Now we wait. Boom. Welcome to Clay's tie-dyeing school. I just realized I'm wearing white Lululemon, Lulu, yeah, what am I saying? White Lululemon pants, so let's really hope that we do not get that on the tie-dye on my pants. Yes, I'm eating crackers. I'm really hungry. We're gonna be tie-dyeing these ones, and these ones, and this shirt, basically everything that's gray. Those, you'll see in a bit. I'm gonna start off with the pants. These bottles are a little bit special needs right now. We got some gloves. Perfect, because we don't want these handy dandy hands of mine to be blue and purple and pink. I'm so nervous. I'm just crinkling, guys. Ah! I'm trying to crinkle it like this, see? This is actually hard. Hold it like this. Okay. Just about done with the crinkle, you can let go. Okay, now we have to somehow tie these. Get a elastic band, will you put it over it? Okay, let go. We're actually supposed to soak it in water. Okay. Gross. I haven't worn these pants in so long because they're old. Well, not old, but... Okay, well, now, time for the crinkle method. See how I'm kind of doing this? No, no, you, you pinch inwards while still kind of holding it. It's like already starting to dry. She's gonna be crinkling and then we're actually going to, gonna be blue? Purple. Okay, now, take some of these handy dandy elastics. I don't know, wait, wait, Eva, let me help. I'm literally no professional, guys. five billion different rubber bands. And now I'm just following along with kind of what the tutorial said, so let's hope it actually works. Well, now let's dye it. Rubber bands. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Can I dye some? Yeah. Okay, other side. Well, this is really working. We're done. I'm gonna go get a Ziploc. My assistant went to go get Ziploc. This is how I'm going to do my tie-dye. My assistant wasn't doing it right. This is how you really do it. Yep, look at that prettiness. Look how pretty it is. Pretty, 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 pretty. Perfect. Just want to go like this and twist it around. And you want to wipe up your spot. Make sure you're in a clean, mess-free, and then... Ugh. Little bit more. Yes, it is. 
is. Clay was doing everything wrong. This is how the professionals do it. See, and you don't want to have hand gloves on. That just ruins your hands. But this makes it perfectly clean. Oh, and if you guys are watching this, you have to go to the Toy Library. It's amazing. With me and Cora. Best show on the block. Mm -hmm. Totally amazing. You still want to wipe this up? Just make sure it's all squeaky clean. And now you want to do the best part about it, put the rubber bands on it. Clay did it wrong doing it. So you're supposed to do this last, not first. What was she thinking doing this? <gasps> Clay's coming. And now we're done. And then we just put that over there. Wait for it to dry and we're done. Thanks for coming to our mind video. And here come places. On to the next one. My turn. We are gonna ring out Oh, ah. the agua. Ah. <laughs> You're gonna die. Don't die You're gonna that. like this shirt. Wing it. We're doing this again. Ready, set, go. We got one side starting the rubber banding process now. Other side. Now we are rubber banding the whole thing. No, wrong one. Hours later. All right, you guys, we are now finally done. We started with four items, I think. Two pairs of sweatpants and two pairs of jeans. And now we only have two left. We've got these beauties. I tie-dyed them blue. Some areas don't have much tie-dye, like the back. You can see there's like not much tie-dye at all. But they kind of turned out pretty cute, kind of adds a little bit of spice to it. I thought that those were super duper cute. Um, and they're also comfortable, so it's a win-win, obviously. And uh, we've got these ones. They are purple. This one has a little bit more tie-dye on them, and you can see it. You can kind of see it a little bit better, but it also looks more blended because the purple is a similar shade to the gray. So, also super cute. Anyways, there's the two sweatpants and the two pairs of jeans we don't have with us now because I threw them. One side worked perfectly and it was white and amazing and then the other side was yellow. I don't know how the heck that happened. I think I'm supposed to like switch it or maybe I probably should have read some instructions, <laughs> something like that, on like this part, on down the middle. I didn't like do it properly and so the bleach was coming like out this way. It kind of made me look like I peed and bleached my pants from the pee. Those did not work. And they were my only pair of shorts, so now I'm a little bit upset. But it's okay. Worked out pretty great. Kind of a fun little activity to do. Switch it up for summer. Maybe I'll keep trying. Hopefully, one of these times, actually get it right so I can have a cute pair of jeans. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it, for the most part. Experimenting on your clothes is quite fun, especially if you're going to be throwing away all these items. So, it was a win-win. Um, ended up actually having to throw away some of the items, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. Unless you are a DIY queen and can just get it the first time. It's like, oh yeah, I was just experimenting. That's not me. Guys, do you see this that I'm wearing? Next week, I am going to be launching my necklaces. I am so beyond excited. 
I cannot wait to be selling these to you guys. I have been working on the shop for the past, I think it's been four days now. Um, just constantly trying to make sure it's perfect for you guys, getting lots of different photos. I am beyond excited, you guys. You have no idea. So, go down into the description. Go and uh, sign up for my email so you can get the newsletters. So you can know exactly when I launch. I'm also going to be doing a pre-sale. So, that's going to be going on for only about two, maybe three days. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye.